Hi everyone, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons and welcome back to part 2 of my remodelling my starter villager home series. So this is the final part obviously since you only get two starter villagers. Today we're going to be redecorating Fuchsia's home. I'm building this literally immediately after building Lyman's. I'm very very excited to get into this. I'm feeling quite spontaneous today. I don't really have much plans in mind for my villagers homes. I'm just going in and decorating them how I think they'll like it. So let's get into it. So Mr. Tomnook, I would like to talk about homes, please. Of course, of course, let's talk about them. I'd like to remodel a residence home. Oh, did you come up with some new design ideas? Either for an existing pitch or maybe a new one? Yes. No problem. Who is it? Today we're working with Fuchsia. Okay, the fee is 9,000 bells. Ready to call Fuchsia over to your ideas? Understood. Let's get the lucky resident here so we can get started. Here she is. And that about covers it. What do you think? Are you okay in trusting Lulu with your home? Go right ahead. I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Oh, glad to hear it. Your house is in good hands. Leave everything to Lulu and me. Okay, let's go. Now then, did you want to start with the home's interior or its exterior? Exterior, please. Got it. Then let's have a look at the catalogue together and you can tell me what you think looks best. Okay, so I already have a little bit of an idea of how I want to decorate Fuchsia's home. If you didn't watch my last video where I redecorated Lyman's, I'll just let you know again that I am trying to decorate their homes to be matching. I want them to be the exact same home, just in different colours because they're right next to each other and I think that'll look really nice. And with Fuchsia, I'm very excited because her house is right by my resident services. It's literally in the entrance, like you can't get to resident services without seeing Fuchsia's home. So I really want it to match my island. Luckily, Fuchsia's colour scheme actually does already match my island perfectly. Her original house wasn't that bad looking to begin with, but it's not completely perfect for me. So with this home, I'm thinking we go with a pink roof. Maybe the same cream walls that Lyman had, so they really are matching. And maybe I could differentiate them with maybe a pink door or something. And also I'm very excited because I can change the wreath on her door. And I always wanted to give her a big flowery wreath. She currently has this one that I made for her, but I haven't unlocked the recipe for the rose garland that I always wanted to give her. And I don't think I have the right colour roses for it. But I always imagined she would have this big flowery wreath on her door. So I'm very excited to do that. Oh my goodness, I love this door in pink. It's so cute. I always try to choose the doors with windows on because I love seeing the light shine through. This was the wreath I always imagined she would have on her door. Or maybe this lily one. They're like the same colours. Oh, but the timber door plate looks so perfect. Maybe my original plans weren't so good after all. That does look cute, but the timber one just looks adorable. I think I'm going to go with this one. That sounds great. Well, now that we've got the exterior squared away, want to chat about the interior? Yes, please. I'd like you to imagine Fuchsia's home. Once it's clear in your mind, I want you to describe all the ideas you have for its interior. Here we are. Oh my goodness. So before we get into it, this is what Fuchsia's home looked like in old games. This is what it's meant to look like in New Horizons. And of course you can already see in front of you. This is the house that me and her got stuck with just because she was one of my first villagers, which is so unfair. She deserves so much better. All right, let's get down to business. Tell me what you have in mind for Fuchsia's home. Let me know when you're done. Okay, so here we go. I am not letting my girls sleep on a sleeping bag ever again. Can you imagine sleeping in a sleeping bag for like two years? No! Also, this furniture doesn't suit Fuchsia at all. I don't know why they gave her this furniture. A lot of people that get starter villager homes are lucky and get the cute cabin style furniture. And I got this, like, Fuchsia does not suit this at all. So I'm very excited to change this. This furniture style was more for like, Bob and not for a character like Fuchsia. So I'm very, very excited to change this. Oh, they recommended the classic red sofa that she had in New Leaf. That's so cool. I also have to give her a guitar because it wouldn't be her house without a guitar. So I'm going to get into building now and I'll get Future Me to do a voiceover. So I'll hand you over to Future Me now and I'll see you again here later for the tour. Hi again. So here we are in the speed build for Fuchsia's home. So originally with this home, I was thinking I could use a lot of the furniture they recommended. For example, the loft bed. But after I I placed this furniture down I thought that it just doesn't suit Fuchsia. In New Horizons they gave her a very red cute home but in New Leaf I feel like the home suited her a lot better. It still had flowers and stuff which really suit the sisterly personality especially in this game because they're obsessed with gardening in this game but it was very like rock and roll and a lot of musical items and dark furniture which I think suit Fuchsia so much more. We unfortunately don't have the old flooring and wallpaper she used to have in old games but at least in this game you have this beautiful wood flooring with the flower type pattern on it which they do give her in 
her house in New Horizons and I really like that decision because I really like this floor and so I knew straight away that I wanted to give her this flooring. For a while I wasn't sure which wallpaper I was going to go with. In this game she has this pink shanty wallpaper which I tried to fit in for a while and I was genuinely considering using this. In the end I give her some spotty wallpaper and bricks but I do look back on this and wonder if I should have given her the shanty wallpaper because I do think it would have worked just as well. But I did want to give her the spotty wallpaper because it reminds me of the dress she wears. I thought it was just a nice little reference to that. I imagine she's quite a big fan of polka dots after all. So you've probably seen me use the classic red sofa which we've had I think in every single Animal Crossing game. I desperately wanted to use this sofa because I've always been a big fan of it ever since I was little and the fact that Fuchsia wants it in her house and she had it in her old house I just thought I have to use the sofa then because it's so perfect for her. Unfortunately though you will see me struggle with the sofa because the red in this game is so saturated and I feel so sad saying that because I'm so happy that they brought furniture from the old games into this one exactly the same as it was before. Unfortunately it's not 1000% exactly like it was before because in this game it's extremely saturated just like a lot of the villagers in New Horizons they changed from the old games to be very saturated. Um, For example Isabel, there's that little pink horse with crosses as eyes. Those characters and a bunch of others their colours changed from being very pastel and soft to very vivid and bright. Oh Goldie is another one. I absolutely adored Goldie's colour scheme in the old game. She was such a beautiful cream colour and in this game I find she's very very yellow and unfortunately this sofa was a victim of the oversaturation in this game and don't get me wrong the sofa was a bright red before but it wasn't like this very bright red but I do keep it there for a while while I'm building but eventually I actually do change it don't worry I do actually keep the sofa but I just change it to be black and it did make me a bit sad because I was like I do want to add in a lot of the red colour that she's had in the games for a while I do like the idea of her having a lot of red in her house so because I decided to change the classic iconic red sofa to black I decided to add in a lot of other little red accents in the room and I honestly am so happy with this home and the colouring that I was able to do because it's not a style I ever usually decorate in but I was so proud of how it turned out so you might have seen me not knowing what bed I wanted to use in this house I considered this really cute bed of cherry print but I thought it was so cute that it just didn't fit in eventually I decided to give her the exact same bed I gave Lyman but with her bed I made her bedding pink of course it had to be pink and that's basically what I go with with this house I go with dark woods and blacks with red and pink accents everywhere so one thing I really missed from New Leaf was this big flower flooring that she used to have I wouldn't say it's the prettiest flooring in the world but I just missed it so I think it's quite iconic and cool so to recreate that I gave her the dark wood flowery flooring and then I also gave her a big sakura cherry blossom rug in the middle which I think was actually able to recreate that old flooring quite well at least the feeling of it anyway so like I said at the start I didn't have any plans going into these builds usually in my happy home paradise builds I usually know what I'm going to build beforehand or at least write down a couple of ideas or I even sometimes draw out what I want the home to look like but in this case I went in blind I've been thinking about how I would redecorate Lyman's house for a long time but I actually wasn't sure what I was doing with Fuchsia's house but turns out I actually ended up loving Fuchsia's house a million times more than Lyman's I absolutely love how this house turned out and hope you guys will enjoy watching me build it because such a fun process building this and I just can't wait to visit Fuchsia and see her enjoying it. Before I was always upset when my villagers were inside their homes and now I'm always upset because they're outside because I want to see them inside their homes enjoying the way I've decorated it. Something really cute happened after I built this home as well. Fuchsia actually came up to me and said thank you for decorating it which made me really happy. But yeah back to what I'm building so you'll see me place a little stool down and I gave it the exact same pattern as Fuchsia's dress that she's worn since New Leaf. I mean Fuchsia was only brought to the series in New Leaf but I just think her little spotty outfit is so cute and I wanted to reference it as much as possible so I decorated the store to be the same fabric and I don't know if any of you have ever seen the anime Nana it's about um, two girls who both have the same name and one's like this really cutesy girly type and one's this, this super cool musician and I was actually quite inspired by that because I literally finished watching it like the day before or the day of building this and I don't know Fuchsia definitely gives me Nana vibes the whole show is about musicians and friendships and romantic relationships and the struggles they go through it's a really great show and I loved it so much I was definitely inspired by it when I was building this home which I think might be why it turned out so much better than Lyman's <laughs> or maybe it's just because Fuchsia has more of a definite theme for her home that I was able to go with I tried to make her house like a musician's hangout and I added a lot of little things that I think she'd really like like baskets of flowers and stuff which I imagine like a fan of hers gave her or she made the bouquet herself because she's super into gardening I wanted the outside of her home to be really bright 
and white and pink and cute and then you walk in and you're like whoa I didn't expect it to be so cool in here. <laughs> That's the only word I can think of to describe her style because how else do you describe the style? I just always say like rock and roll. Like it's so cool. With the dark furniture and the and the clothing and the guitar and everything. I just think it's all so cool. I would love to be her best friend. I just feel like Fuchsia's actually come back to life for me. Fuchsia's a villager I don't really interact with very much because I don't know. I just feel like a bunch of her personality was stripped away from her with not having her home. And now that she has this gorgeous, gorgeous, really fun musician's home, I just love her a million times more than I did before and I'm just so very happy with how this turned out so another reference I added from the old games was her big stereo she had this in New Leaf I just had to add it for the reference to the old games and of course she would need a stereo if she's a musician and I thought who else am I going to give this ginormous stereo to no one else except Fuchsia so I have to give it to her <laughs> I also noticed while I was building this that in the old games her guitar was red so I do go back and change the guitar to red and then I also give her a red amp and um, this is is how I start getting a lot of the red accents into the home. I'm a bit confused why her accent colour in her home is red, especially in the way New Horizons made her home which is very red considering she's pink. You wouldn't really think bright pink and red go together but I think they clash in such a way that it actually looks cute like how many times have you seen like a cute pink strawberry design? Like a pink design with strawberries on top always looks adorable because pink and red clashing together can actually be really really cute and I think I managed to do that in this home. So then I started to add a lot of accessories. I considered giving her the red orange clock but then I went and gave her the red cute one because I thought it was a nice reference to the way they decorate her home in New Horizons originally and then I was also really excited to give her the red cherry lamp. If you didn't know you can customise the cherry lamp to be more orangey red or a dark red and since cherry is my town fruit and has been since I was little I just thought this, this lamp is so perfect for her. It's like a neon light and it looks awesome. Another item I really wanted to give her was these musicians autographs. I thought she would have these above her stereo maybe she signed them or her other bandmates sign them or they're just famous musicians that she's a big fan of but I just think they look so perfect in this house. Another little item I used was a little accessory stand because in New Leaf she had a makeup box in her home. Unfortunately we don't have a makeup box in this game. We have a little sewing box and we have nail varnish and we have this little accessory stand and that's it so I decided to go with the accessory stand since she wears a lot of earrings. I thought she'd be super into that. These would be the accessories she likes to put on before she goes out on stage to perform the same as the little clothing hanger I gave her with all the really cool alternative clothes on it. I thought that she would just have all this stuff out for when she's going to perform and yeah I loved it so much. I just think these items go together so well. Like I said I don't usually decorate in this sort of darker furniture style so considering this is like one of my first times decorating this way I'm really really proud of how this turned out. I'm usually so used to decorating in like bright pink and white frilly cutesy type ways that I wasn't sure I'd be any good at decorating this in this style but I really like it and I just think it's suits Fuchsia so well but maybe you have a different idea of how Fuchsia's home would look. I'd love to see if you've redecorated her home. I would love to see photos if you've redecorated her home and it looks massively different to mine. So another item I wanted to add as a reference to her original New Horizons home design is the red cute lamp and I should probably say I don't actually just like her New Horizons home design. I think it's very beautiful and I remember first seeing it in the New Horizons trailer and being so excited. I couldn't believe all the amazing red furniture in her home and the flooring and how beautiful it looked. I was so excited excited when I first saw it and honestly if I had Fuchsia's original New Horizons home from the start I probably wouldn't complain that much because it is actually decorated very lovely. It is a lot of red though so if you don't like red I'm sure it's a bit too much for you but yeah I do actually quite like it. It's not a home I would very much complain about in this game because there are some homes that I don't like in this game but Fuchsia's home design isn't one I particularly dislike. I think it's actually decorated quite well and so I was enjoying making quite a few references to it with the red cute furniture. So you also see me add Adding some candles now. I absolutely love these candles with the red poppies on them. They feel so fuchsia to me with the flowers because she's obsessed with flowers and the red and I don't know they just feel so cozy. I think they really bring this house to life. They make it feel very homey and I really love it. One item I do wish I could have fit into this home is the red windmill because I think it fit in so well but there just wasn't enough space. If I could I would have loved to put it on top of the speaker but unfortunately you can't place items on top of it. I would have loved to put it on top of the 
amp as well, but you can't place items on top of that either for some reason. So eventually I gave up on that item and I was wondering what I wanted to put on the big coffee table in the middle of the room. Eventually I decide with some cozy candles, a big basket of flowers because I eventually moved the flowers to the coffee table and give her a red mirror over there instead. Since I realised she has all this stuff to dress up in and accessorise with but she doesn't have a mirror to check herself out in so I realised she'd definitely need a mirror. Then I also gave her a pair of headphones and a packet of crisps. I realised while I was building this that her house wasn't going to be one I'd usually create with a kitchen since I don't think fuchsia is the cooking type. I think actually some of my villagers have made jokes in the game that she's bad at cooking and I imagine she spends so much time gardening and on her music. She's already multi-talented as it is that she would just be pretty lazy with food. I think she'd go to Melba or Lyman or other villagers to make her food and she would in return decorate their gardens for them or play their music. So I felt like she'd definitely just chill out here, be a bit of a slob and leave some crisps on the table to munch on. I really just wanted to use it. I just think it makes it look like a bunch of musicians have been here just snacking and chilling out together. Another item I was really excited to use was the mum's cushion. This mum's cushion decorated to be red with the patchwork on it is so cute and again I just thought it fit the colour theme of this house so well so I was very excited to use that. I decided to pile it on top of another pillow. I did originally put it in the house to put it by the coffee table so you could sit around the coffee table on pillows but I realised Fuchsia wouldn't actually be able to move around her own house if I put it there so eventually I put it at the end of her bed which I actually think looks so cute like they're originally throw pillows or something. I don't know the cushions piled up at the end of her bed just it looks so aesthetically pleasing and I'm not sure why. <laughs> there are just little items in the game like that that look so cute like if you put a teacup on top of the log stall it fits so lovely that it just looks so cute so I really like to do that in the game. Another little item that I discovered while building this house that's perfect for it is this little pile of wires. I've never seen this item but while I was looking for items for her home I spotted it and realised it's just like a bunch of wires on the floor and I realised she wouldn't really have a guitar and an amp in the corner with no wires so again just to mess it up a little bit and make it feel more homey I decided to add this big pile of wires on the floor next to it. It does look a bit like a mess but I don't know I just thought it looked like it fit in in that area. I also decided to give her a similar thing to Lyman's house with these lights on the back wall. I decided to give her these little black spotlights though I thought maybe when she's performing with her bandmates or on her own she could turn the lights off and just have these spotlights on and I thought they fit in with the house really well. I also decided to give her this beautiful red shelving. I feel like I managed to completely fill up this house very quickly. I really loved how everything just came together so easy for me. It was like such a breeze creating this house which I didn't expect at all. I thought I was going to struggle with it for a while but I really didn't struggle building Fuchsia's home at all. I don't know if it's because I had her for a very long time in my New Leaf town. I'm not sure if I was just very inspired by watching Nana. I have no idea what happened but I was just really happy with how this all turned out. I was very excited to use these items I've never usually used. I think this house came out really well. I was so excited about it that I immediately posted it on my Instagram story to show you all which I wouldn't usually do because I like to keep my home designs a surprise to make you watch the video obviously but I was just so happy and excited of how it turned out that I just had to show you all immediately so if you do follow me on Instagram I'm sorry for spoiling this. This may not be as exciting for you since you've already seen it but it's very exciting for me because I just love this home. <laughs> it just feels so perfect. I don't think there's anything I would really change in it except actually there's one thing I did forget to do which I did in Lyman's house which is polish the furniture. I realised this after I'd already completed building and I was very upset with myself that I forgot to polish her furniture because I should have remembered to make her guitar all sparkly. Um, So maybe I'll go back in the future and just polish a couple of the furniture items. I can't believe I have to pay 9,000 bells just to polish the items but yeah other than forgetting to polish things I think the house turned out so cool. I really really love it. Another thing I think really added to the ambience of this home was the lighting so I changed the lighting in the house to be pink and very low. It just feels so cool and awesome in here. I don't really know how to explain it. It just feels like Fuchsia's such a cool person. Just such an awesome house and place to play music and I think the final thing I did in this house was give her some music playing on the stereo. I researched what music she had in the old games and it was KK Rock so I gave her KK Rock, made sure that the stereo was on the lowest volume because on the highest volume I will just go insane. It hurts my head so much. I'm so happy I can finally change that and yeah other than that I also placed a little KK slider picture on the wall. I was thinking about putting the KK Rock poster on the wall but 
eventually decided to go with the KK Cruising picture on the wall because it's red and KK Slider just looks so cool in it. I think Fuchsia would definitely admire him in that poster. So I added that to the wall and then I was pretty much done. So I'll go back to you past me now. He'll give you a tour of the final build. Okay, so here we are in Fuchsia's finished home. What do you guys think? I can't believe how cute this is. I'm so excited about it. I'm literally so happy with this. Look at it. I don't know if this is everyone's style. I mean, I personally wouldn't decorate my house this way, but other people who decorate this way just think it looks so cool. So over here, she has a little mirror so she can check her makeup and her awesome clothes. They just look so cool. She has this really cool picture of KK Slider on the wall and her classic sofa. I customised it to be black in the end. She has this big table in the middle of the room with headphones, crisps to eat, some lovely little candles to set the mood, and some flowers, which I imagine maybe a fan gave her, or she grew them herself. Oh, I just realised I left the pillows in the wrong place. Let me just fix that. <laughs> that was a close one. Okay, the pillows are back in the right place now. So on this side of the room is her bedroom. She has this messy bed with a book. Maybe it's about creating music and her accessories over here have a lot of earrings on because Fuchsia does wear a lot of earrings. She has her classic stereo with the musician's autographs above it and a little rose wreath above her bed and over here is the most very important items in her home. Her classic red guitar and amp and also put some messy wires on the floor which I think match it really well, make it fit in the area really well. Also gave her some light switches on the wall because I thought she'd be the type to turn the lights off and put the spotlights on and perform with her guitar all the time. I gave her this little monstera plant in the corner because that was one of her recommended items and I thought she should at least have some of her recommended items. And you can never go wrong with more plants. And this is how it turned out. What do you guys think? I'm so proud of this one. I think it suits Fuchsia so well. I look at this home and I just think it feels so complete. There isn't much that I would want to change. I'm genuinely just really, really proud and happy with this. And I just hope you guys like it as much as I do. I really can't wait to see Fuchsia and her friends just chilling out here and playing music and enjoying themselves. One of my favourite things to have in a home as well is a big round table, so I was very happy I got to do that in this one. Okay, we're all done. Alright, we'll go forward with these remodel plans then. Excellent work. Hooray! So that's all for today guys. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I am so excited about this home and I cannot wait to go visit Fuchsia and see her just chilling in there. I can't wait for you guys to see their homes in gameplay videos and I'm just so much happier now that I've been able to fix my starter villagers homes. I've said this before and I'll say it again, they deserve so much better than what they were given and I'm just so happy I was able to finally give them that. My starter villagers will no longer suffer, they'll no longer sleep in a sleeping bag and they finally have beautiful homes to match their beautiful personalities. I'm so so happy today because of this, it's really cheered me up. So I hope these videos were able to cheer you up and hopefully give you a little bit of peace in your day. As always, if, if you've redecorated some of your starter villager homes and would like to show me them, please do share your photos with me. You can share them with me on Instagram or Twitter. I would love to see your own designs. Before I go for today, I would just like to say an extra special thank you to my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me this month. I love you all so so much and your support really helps me out every single month. I don't think I'd be getting by properly if it wasn't for all of you so thank you all so much for your support. And to the rest of you please do let me know down in the comments how you're doing today, what you thought of this build and which of my villages you'd like to see me make homes for next. If you enjoyed this video please do consider leaving a like and subscribing only if you want to though. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>